everybody, James Crew here at Spirit Vermont. I'm just coming at you to let you know we have an investigation tonight that's going to be amazing. There is things from lights turning on to TVs turning on, things coming up missing after being placed somewhere, kids being pushed, other kids being spoken to, um, a husband hearing music over a fan when there's no music playing. There's a lot going on in this place and we are excited to be having the opportunity to investigate. We were reached out by the family. We told them we would do our best to figure out what's at least going on. We may not be able to put a stop to it, but we're gonna try our best to get some answers for this family. I hope you enjoy this video and Keep watching, keep supporting, and don't forget to reach out and order some of those shirts we've got. Uh, you'll be seeing a bunch of those in our videos tonight. So just let us know what you think. Keep watching, and we love you all. Thank you so much, everybody. Hey, this is James with Spirit of Vermont. We are here with Christine and her family. Would you guys like to introduce yourself? I'm Alan. I'm Nolan. I'm Christine. I'm Alan. So Alan Sr.? Alan, Alan Jr. and Alan number three. Oh, wow. I'm a junior. Christine, she's been communicating with me for a little while now. Um, would you guys? So, kind of mentioned it in some some of the like the, the run up on before coming here. But if you guys would like, you can tell your own little stories on what's happened here. Obviously, they're not stories, but your personal experience. If you guys would like to discuss it, any of you can talk. It's up to whoever. Uh, we were down here, like, basically on this couch, and uh, what happened was, like, we were just, like, we had the Ouija board out because we were just trying to, like, see what actually happened, and, like, the whole time, like, I just felt, I just kept feeling chill just going up through my back. Oh, wow, yeah. It's, it's, it's an eerie feeling. Oh, uh, like, my wife was down here. We have cameras set up in different, different spots of the house. We have one here on the TV there, and we have one in the kitchen over here, and um, she was down here with the kids, and they were messing around with everything, and... I, I don't remember what you said, but the TV all of a sudden just came on. No, not, sure, not, not the TV, this lamp right over here came on. I, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Then, um, yeah, my daughter, I uh, we were explaining to you a little while ago there, she was in the bathroom and uh, she was just brushing her teeth and she was short, so she got up on her knees and brushed her teeth in the sink and all of a sudden she just went forward like that into the, into the mirror and I thought that she, uh, you know, she would just fell forward, but she claims that something pushed her and, I mean, she'd have no reason to lie about that. How old is she? Well, she's nine, or she's, she's 11 right now, but she was nine at the time. You and I? Oh, yeah, tell them about the shadows, though. Yeah. So oh, yeah. yeah. Like, I was in chalkboard in my room, and, like, maybe, like, the last time it happened was, like, maybe, like, a week ago. Um, but, like, usually every week I see shadows just run across the top and then just sit up on my head. Oh, wow. Like, yeah. Great. So you guys are very active here. He's gonna, he's gonna tap the screen in his room and stuff, and I was like, you sure it's not just that? You don't make it a shit. He's like, no. He goes, I see it come up from the, from the, uh, from the blackboard up over me. Oh, I believe it. <laughs> and you've sent me a lot of videos already. And the one, like, the one that really got me was the one that happened right over here, um, with the orb that just slowly appears out of nowhere. Yeah.
like that that's strong enough to like sh just mess with you like that and it says something yeah because for it to just appear and just genuinely float through your yeah. room <laughs> yeah that was yeah the one that came from the door there yeah, yeah see he doesn't tell me things because i get like super freaked out i'm like I'm just gonna try to keep it to I'm myself moving, i'm leaving see whenever okay that's one thing i do want to say though is um if at some point today tonight um you guys feel like you want to stop don't hesitate to say so. No, I'm on a Because I'm I'm concerned that if some when does start to happen. The TV like, just came on. Someone just hit the TV. No, no. I don't. The TV no, just came on. Is there a, is there a, is underneath you is there a remote? There's two. I see two remotes right there. No, no, nobody was on. And now it's on Netflix. That. And that, that's interesting. Okay. Like, we're sitting here talking. Oh, yeah. and it, <laughs> it wants, it has no, it does that, that, that yeah. It hasn't done that in a week. Okay. Right. Anytime we talk about the TV, it happens. Mm -hmm. TV, yeah. <laughs> So we have Christine here with Mallory, which is a girlfriend of one of the sons. Alan, right? Yeah, Alan. A lot of things to make my name. Hey, there's a lot of you. Me too. Anything. Are you here? Are you here? Yes. Well, are you on? What's your name? Sometimes people like sit around and sit down 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 and sit Do you want us playing with the Ouija board? Oh, yes. What is that? What is that? Is that? After, yeah. that happened after she said she printed three times. Do you want us playing with the Ouija board? Spirit, are you more active because it's Halloween evening? 
No, but there is a bright full moon up there. Yeah. Are you trying to talk to me? Yeah. Yes. yes. That was clear. Oh, no, that, that was strong. That was a strong one. Okay. Why? Is there something about Christine you want to know? Probably. Who are you? We don't know where I go. You said you don't want to know? No, I can't tell you. Who are you? Big Ben. Big Ben? What? Big Ben? <laughs> Listen, I know. What's my big, big day, boss? Have you been following Christine for a while? Lately. I heard nighttime lately. What do you want with Christine? Will you just say the word that you're not supposed to say? No, it's I, a friend. A, you're a friend? Yeah. Not say that word. Not say that word. Are you a friend that I know that died? The candles go out. Okay. No. Wouldn't no don't do turn off that fucking flash, please. Why? What's the matter? I swear to God, on the it's like I fucking saw a face in that flash. Say oh, no. hell no! You I need swear. a flash to pick it up. No, 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 no! In the flash, like, like I saw something. How did you see the face. flash, Alan? When the flash went off, oh, like, he's like, gonna cry. No, he did I see saw. something. No. Can you? Is there anything you see? I saw. I saw like a big fucking face. What kind of face? I don't know. It was. It had like, Was that you that or was reaching out to us? Are you right next to me right now? Yeah. Are you in this room with us? Yeah. Well, that's gonna be right here. Yes. Can we say goodbye, please? Yes. I'm saying goodbye. I'm saying goodbye. Goodbye. It is now. Right. Sean and James here from Spirit Vermont. We're investigating Noah's room right now. It seems to have been a hot spot for activities. And actually, as I'm talking right now, I'm watching the K2 meter spike. Oh, yeah, look at that. Are you making that spike? If you want, you can pass your hand in front of this device right here. And if you pass your hand in front of it, it'll spike. Oh, jump. If you're in this room with us, can you, like, make the K2 meter jump up a couple of degrees? It jumped to an 8, you see that? No, I didn't. There's a big gas tank. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I'm aiming at this K2 meter right now. Can you make those numbers change? If you're here, try to get it to a four. No. That was a two. Can we get it to a four? Never been more. Never been more what? Holy crap. Did you just see that? I went to a 12. I did it. You got that on video? Yeah. Good. 15. Did you see that? I'm looking at it It was now. a point 15. Right now it's zero. Can you jump it up again? Are you in here with us? Make it jump. No, that's a one. That ain't a jump. Ten. Ten, eleven, then back to Dude, zero. Dude, did you see that? I saw that. All right. Can you give us your name, please? Can I come in and talk to it? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. We're getting really good results right now. Now that Christine's in here, can you make this jump up again? Can you show her? Now that you're in here, it's not doing it. Are you afraid of Christine? Whoa. 13. What did it say? 
I didn't say anything, but this meter jumped from zero to 13. Do you like talking to me? If so, make the meter jump. Come on. Come on, you were just doing it for us. 10, 11. It hit 12. Is it okay that we're talking to you? If it is, spike the meter again. One second. If you're mad that we're in here talking to you, can you make the meter jump? Get that number spiked if you're if you don't like us in here. What the fuck? I just saw face. I swear on my life. It was your dad. No, I saw face in front of me. Your dad's right there. That was my face, bud. I thought that's scary. I didn't know you were back there. I didn't either. <laughs> I saw him come in. Can you make this meter spike up to a 10 or above if you want us to leave? Yeah. Is there something demonic holding you back, not letting you talk to us? Make the meter spike itself. If there is, would you like us to try to solve the issue? Holy shit, 17. Yeah, whatever it is. There's something demonic holding it back? Yeah. Is that window open? It's breezy, I know. Very that. breezy. It's not open though. Oh, it is a little bit. Is That's it? A, yeah. Oh. I can move if you like me to close it. 19. How high can you make this meter spike? Can you make it red line? Do it now. Come on. Show us what you got. Holy Oh my god. Fuck. No. Oh my god. Everything you're asking it to do is doing. Oh my god. Wait, that the, that is the first time I have ever gotten a red like that. Only I swear here. to god. Wait, can, we, can I have a quick question? I have a quick question. Next if, time I'm gonna punch If you're next to my mom and uh, like if you're next if you're in between Mike and my mom, can you make it do a red spike? Well James and Christine. Yeah, James and Christine, sorry. James and Christine. What the hell was can that? You make it spike red? Oh my god! It's right, I told next you! To us. I, saw, it's next I told to you! Us. Is it I, you? No, no, I told you. Know, you. I Remember when I said I saw a face right there? I I told you. What's up everybody, James Carew, Mike. Mike right there. So the reason for this little video clip is because I want you guys to understand that the photo you're about to see is unlike any of the other pictures Mike took. And Mike's the one that took all the photos during this investigation. And this is the only photo that like, it came out looking like we took the photo from inside yeah. a house fire. It's, like, it's creepy. It's the only photo that happened. It happened on the spot. You know, Mike didn't have time to mess with it. The the family were there when we did this, and they yeah. know, like, it just happened. Mm -hmm. And it's got us, like, kind of at awe with trying to understand what happened and why. We're wondering if, like, it was kind of a, a way for the spirit to show us, like, maybe there was a fire at this home at one point, you maybe know. The Spirit was on fire, came towards the camera. Something or de demonic nice. type spirit, you know. And uh, I'm also going to take time to zoom in on this photo and show you um, an apparition that I seen in the picture that I don't know if you guys have. Um, so I'm going to do my best to just show you. A lot of us have seen it and it's it's crazy. We took yeah what a good hundred photos. Oh, yeah. And this is the only That's picture. The only that turned out like this. So, I just wanted to do this video to explain my thought process on this photo and I hope you guys enjoy it. So, thanks yeah, everybody. Thanks. So, here's the photo. Now, as you can tell, it's got this red tint to it and it looks like there's like a fire happening in the 
in the kitchen. And yes, there is a candle as you can see here, but that's not, that tiny candle is not enough to cause a red tint to the whole kitchen. And now what I'm trying to point out to everybody is if you zoom in here, now let's zoom in. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. It, it looks as if there is some apparition in this photo as well. Now, some people may see it, some may, may not, and I'm not here to tell you you have to see it, but from what I've seen, my, my team has seen, and the family, we all see this apparition, and it's it's really interesting to us. So for there to be an apparition, as well as that coloring fire look to it, makes us wonder what may have happened here. Now, I've tried to research accidents that have happened, and maybe it just was so far back it didn't make media, but... This is the one photo that we've caught something in, and I truly believe that this has something to do with the paranormal activity that is happening in this home. Now, another thing I wanted to point out, and this is just a small clip of a part of the investigation that we just didn't have a lot in it, but it's something that I did notice, and it's kind of a huge deal if you pay attention. Now here you see Sean videotaping Christine and Courtney at the table while they were trying to communicate with the spirit. And in front of him, you see just an, a cross, a prayer cross standing up. Now, he was so focused into his camera, focusing on them, making sure he got a good clip that he, he had no idea that this happened. I had showed Sean this part of the clip and he was blown away because he didn't understand like why. Nobody was touching it. No, This thing was just sitting on the table while we were focused on the women. You will see at this point the cross slightly turns just a little bit enough to not notice in person. But when I played back, I paid attention and I noticed it. It's like, that's just, it's, it shows that little things can happen in front of us without us even taking the chance to notice it. Brings back a lot of thought that uh, JR, the husband, was talking about how things just go missing after he puts them down. It shows that this spirit can move things. It's strong enough to move possessions like just think about that so in this next clip we're going to be witnessing Christine, Courtney and Michael speaking to the spirit box and at a certain point it says mommy and literally right after it says mommy Christine's daughter comes around the corner saying, Mama, Mama. And then her, Christine's like, what? And she says, you know why I'm upset? You know why I'm crying? Because I keep seeing a face. And as Christine's telling her everything's okay, you'll see on the screen an orb fly across above Michael and Courtney. Do you want to talk to Christine alone? Mommy. Mommy. Now, like I said, this is where you hear it say, Mommy, on the speaker. And then her daughter comes around the corner. What about Mommy? I can't see your face. Now, watch for the orb. Bella, go oh in my room now. It's fine. Go to your room. Go to my room. I only see... Bella, go oh in my room now. This. It's fine. Go to your room. Go to my room. I only see... Now, to me, that's not a coincidence. 
for those things to line up so perfectly, that says a lot. So, in my experience with the paranormal, something was there for those events to lead up together like that. So I just thought that was something interesting to share with everybody. What's up everybody? As you can see, I truly believe this family's house is haunted. I don't think it's a bad haunting. I think it's two, two or more spirits that are just comfortable being around this family. I don't think they're there to hurt them. Honestly, I think it's a child. I don't know if it's female or male. And I think it's there to play. I think that's why things come up missing. And just little childish things that happen. I think it's because of the spirit. And then I think there's a male spirit. And I think the male goes by the name of Ben or Big Ben. And I think he's there to help protect the family. Now, I'm not 100%. You know, I can't ever give 100% on these. But nothing as bad has been, like, done to this family. Um, in the beginning, the father had mentioned that his daughter was pushed... In, well, in the mirror, brushing her teeth. I think that was the child. I think the child was trying to play. Now, as you can see here, in Noah's room, I think something was trying to be seen. It wanted to be known that it was there. It wanted to talk to Christine. As you can see here, right here, see it right there? The photo, the photo, we're never going to have 100% an answer on. Maybe the family will down the road, but us personally, we will never know why it was the way it was. You can see here, the cross moving, that was a big one that kind of got under my skin and the rest of the team. Kind of was eerie, we didn't know why. And then there was the, the orb that appeared after hearing the word mommy and then her daughter showing up. That was crazy. In my experience as a paranormal investigator, this family, this family's home is haunted. But this family has nothing to worry about. Now, I want to urge the family that if it gets worse, I'd love to come back and try to do some more. But if it doesn't really move and it just it stays at the level that it's at, I say live your life, let it live its its life, and just live together in harmony. Because other than that, you're just going to keep getting the same responses. So, 95% sure it's haunted, and I am thankful for the opportunity to investigate your home. So thank you, Christine. Thank you, JR. Thank you, Alan, Noah, Bella, Mariah. Thank you all so much for inviting Spirit Vermont into your home. And much love, guys. Thanks.